Hello everyone, welcome back to CFDC Panther. This is Amit and we are back with another scenario of our Salesforce Flow Builder series. So here what we are going to do is we are going to automate the opportunity team creation whenever the account team is created related to the account for a particular opportunity. So here what we need to do is we are going to create an opportunity team whenever an account team is created. So as an administrator what you will do is you will develop a flow and we will talk about what kind of flow it will be and uh, what you have to do is whenever an account team is created we need to check if there are any related opportunity particular that account and if there are then we will create opportunity team so before we go ahead there is a very important announcement for you we have started our brand new channel you will get the link uh, in the description of this video please do like share subscribe that channel as well and we will be putting some important concepts over there we will be discussing the career related questions uh, we will be also putting some uh, uh, videos related to the solution of a particular problem in salesforce or in general as well so first let's talk about what is an opportunity so opportunity is uh, sorry opportunity team so opportunity team is a junction object between a user and opportunity and what an opportunity team is opportunity team is uh, like uh, is a list of users or we say that the group of users who are working together in order to close an opportunity so that the opportunity who, who, which is a uh, pending sales or pending deals can be converted and they can start doing the business with that particular opportunity and that's why this opportunity is going to be the master user is going to be master and then opportunity team is going to be child so if you don't know what opportunity team is you want to learn in the deep then you will get a link in the description of the video as well as you will uh, get the link on the top uh, as a, you can click on that i icon the information icon and then you will talk about you will get to know what account team is and similarly you will get to know what opportunity team is so this is uh, how we are going to do the mapping for our opportunity team as we know that this is a standard object provided by salesforce so there is a field called team role which will be equivalent to whatever the team role is there on the account team then opportunity access it will always be the read for that particular opportunity or we can also make it read write which will be edit then who is the user the user we have added in the account team and then what opportunity id then opportunity record id so we might have multiple opportunities under a particular account so we will be doing a loop we will be just iterating one by one in a continuous until unless we finish all the opportunities so one by one we will be adding that opportunity id for that particular team role now this is how we are going to process with and this is how we are going to achieve this the very first question that we usually ask is which kind of flow it is going to be so we will talk about it is going to be after flow the reason we wanted to make sure that the account team has been inserted once the account team is inserted we are going to get all the related opportunity related to the account then we will put one decision element we will check if the related opportunities are found if not we are going to end our flow if the related opportunities are found we are going to iterate with the opportunity one by one prepare the opportunity team and then at the end insert the opportunity team and then after once the insertion is done again get back and end your flow so that's what we are going to do as part of our SFDC Panther approach. So now let's quickly log into our Salesforce instance and do this. So as we are going to work with account team and opportunity team, the prerequisite for this video is to enable opportunity team and account team. That's why I have given you the video so that you can get back and enable those settings in your org. Once you have enabled those, you just need to scroll down to your, like you need to navigate to the setup. From the quick search box just search for flows and then under process automation select flows so now you select this you just need to click on new a uh, new flow and it will open uh, that particular window that you are already familiar with so here we will select record triggered flow because we don't want user intervention and then for the object what we are going to select here is account team so in this object list just search for account okay so as soon as you search for account you'll find account team member this is our object whenever that account team member is created we are not bothered about updated or something else 
condition we are not going to put any condition we are going to work with the related records because we are going to create a, a related opportunity opportunity team so we will select this one if we select first field update this will become before save and that is not going to work for us so we will select action and related records click on done so we have just configured our flow now the very first thing is that we need to query all the related opportunities so just click on this plus icon scroll down and select get records now here give the label whatever you want for me it is soql all opportunities now which object i wanted to query it is an opportunity object now how we are i'm going to filter it put the field of account id say equal and what account id is we will say that record which is going to be account team member and then we will say account id okay this is what our account id is now we want all the records so once we select all the records this particular variable becomes the list all the records automatically store all the fields click on done so you have just queried all the opportunities now we will have a decision element so we will check if the opportunities are found check if opportunities are found okay we say that opportunity is found as a label of our outcome how we are going to check is we are going to select opportunities from soql opportunities and we will say that is null false so if we have at least one opportunity it will say that it this contains this condition is going to be true sorry it, this condition will become false any single opportunity is null false will return true okay so you've got this click on done so we've got two routes one is opportunity is found one is default outcome so for default outcome we can just go ahead and click on end we are going to end the flow for opportunities found we'll click on plus icon and then what here we are going to do is as we have got the opportunities we are going to iterate with opportunities one by one so just go ahead and click on loop here select loop element and here we can say loop through opportunities so the name we can say that opportunity or single name or you can say uh, that's correct loop through opportunities where is the collection variable where is the list by which we wanted to iterate the list is or whatever we've got from SQL query either we want to start from first to last or last to first so we will say first to last that is okay for us now we have got this is how it is going to look like this this way it is going to run like uh, it is going to start for each and then and then and then okay after last we are going to insert now we have started the for loop we must need a list of opportunities sorry opportunity team so that we can insert those so in order to have that from the left hand um, left hand side under manager click on new resource we will create a resource of type variable and we will say that variable opportunity team list make sure that you select this allow multiple values so that we can store as a list data type is going to be record and object is going to be opportunity team opportunity team member so just search for opportunity team member and select that and click on done so this is one list that we have got now when we will be preparing the data over here right we will also be preparing data for a single opportunity team and that opportunity team we will be adding into the list so we will also need one more variable where we will store opportunity team so we will say that where opportunity team data type is going to be record and it is going to be opportunity team member this time we won't check this checkbox and uh, we when we don't check this it will act as a single record variable click on done now here under for each we'll click on assignment and we will say prepare opportunity team now we have to find our variable what variable is single variable which has got opportunity team then the very first thing that we need to give is what is opportunity id then what we have talked about is variable opportunity team then we have got opportunity access opportunity access label then we have talked about user id okay these are the uh, fields that we have got so and then there was role what is going to be the role so team member role now here for opportunity id we have already got from the loop it says that current iteration so select current item and then what we need is id for opportunity uh, this is opportunity access you can see here we have got these four values like read only read write or 
private so we will select read write that and the value here we are going to put edit then user id this is going to come from record dot user id record is our account team member and user id is the user who is added as account team member under account team team role whatever the team role we have got from here record so we whatever we say that team role so whatever the team role is there on the account team that's what we are going to add here as a team role for opportunity now we have just prepared this click on done and once we have prepared this we are going to just click on plus icon and we will select assignment and we will say that add opportunity team to list this time here we will find our variable which is list that is opportunity team list and we will say add and value what value we wanted to add our opportunity team so under list what we are doing is for every iteration we are preparing opportunity adding to the list then we are preparing then again adding to the list now scroll down to the bottom here what we need to do is we need to insert so what we will go ahead click on plus select create records and we will say insert opportunity team members now we need multiple and as soon as we select multiple we have the collection and that is opportunity team list and we are done so just go ahead and click on done and then click on again that item add a fault path and uh, for a fault path as usual what we do is we do a, an action which is post to chatter we'll say that post to chatter under which, what is the message message is going to be flow dot fault message whatever the error we get target id is going to be record dot account id so under that account we are going to throw the error if there is any error and then we will go ahead and click on done now our flow is ready once this flow is ready the next thing that we have to do is we have to click on this save and we need to give the name so what i will do is i'll say automate opportunity team and i'm just using the same as a description and here i can also put like from account team so we have got this description and then go ahead and click on save so we have just save a particular flow that is ready we just need to debug it before we actually activate it so in order to debug what we will do is first we need at least one account team record so just go ahead open any account that is there so this is the account we have which says that uh, american banking uh, and then we'll just scroll down and this is the list that i have got for opportunity team i'll click on add team members and then i will add some of the users over here so say that i'm adding flow admin one okay team role is something called account manager and all these read write access are there i will just do the same so here there is one team member which says that flow admin one now we can go there in our flow and do the debug it it will ask when we want it to have we have got a account team member we'll search for flow and we will see if we are able to find we got this so actually this is something where we will not be able to select and we will not be able to test it so what we are going to do is as this is something which we are not able to debug so we'll just go ahead and activate this flow and after activating what we are going to do is we are again going to add one more default team over here and we know that under this account there is one opportunity called american banking corporation and if you go there and open this opportunity we are just trying to make sure that we don't have any opportunity team record under this opportunity so you can see here under related we've got contact roles we've got partners under opportunity there is zero record okay now let's get back here i'm just going to delete this so that uh, i can add the same user again and then if there will be any error we will definitely be able to get that so click on add account team i have the user I can select whatever user is, then I can select whatever the team role is, read codify, uh, account ID, read write, case access read write, and opportunity access read write. Okay. I'll just go ahead and save this. So I have just saved this. Now, if we get back to our opportunity and you scroll down here under opportunity team, click on the link, and you see that there is one opportunity team which has been created by our flow. Every single thing is there, like lead codifier is there, lead, lead member is admin role, and uh, you are good to go. That means your flow is working. There is one thing that I would like to make some additional changes in a flow. So 
So while we are adding the team member over here, if you see when we add the team member, it already have an opportunity access, right? So what we can do is instead of having the read write there as a hard code, whatever the access is there, this is the access we are going to read from our uh, give to our opportunity. So for that, we'll go ahead and click on save as and do the save as so that we can save the flow in a different okay. Then we will get back to our first assignment. We will click on edit. And here we have get, uh, given the edit, right? So what we will do is we'll say that record. And then here there is a field called opportunity access. So whatever the access is there, that access will be given to the opportunity. Now go ahead and click on save and then activate it. We will just go ahead and test it again. So here we are going to open another account. And then here let's say that we've got uh, Farmers Corporation of Florida. Then we've got one opportunity and then we will add here team member. So this time we'll try to add two team member. One is admin. Okay. Let's say that executive and sponsor. Then if we have got something called integration user, we've got integration user over here. And then we can say here it is something executive is sponsored, not this one. You can change it to channel manager and the access are there here. We'll go ahead and save this. The record has been saved. Two team members were added. We will go ahead quickly navigate to the opportunity and from the related list quick single you can see here there are two team has been added with the role executive sponsor and channel manager so whatever we give there in the opportunity the user will be able to see and if you wanted to add i'm not sure if you can add here we are not able to add the other fields like what is the access label and uh, that's what we are not able to access it but the access label is also getting copied from our account team to opportunity team so this was it for this video thank you for your time and again please do like share subscribe to our this channel as well as to our new channel so we will meet into the next video with another scenario if you have any scenarios please feel free to email us to the mentioned email in the description of the video thank you